hello everyone uh, welcome back again to my channel and this is another series of clean architecture and CQRS pattern and uh, no with the uh, mediator R pattern okay so I already created a one uh, one series of clean architecture so if you come first time so definitely I recommend to you please first go to there because that is a basic clean architecture I already share I already created but yeah this one is the advanced one where we use in you know, a CQRS pattern along with mediator R pattern okay so let's show me first demo what we have achieved what we have achieved in this series okay so see I already uh, create a you know, clean architecture uh, clean architecture with CQRS pattern and along with mediator R so this is uh, our user interface is API okay and I already created that you know um, that get post you know put delete endpoint in our API uh, user interface okay so we'll see first let's see the you know, output how is working it is it is similar kind of things okay let's execute first okay see there is no data because as of now uh, my blog is empty so that's why it's uh, empty so let's collapse and then let's add you know some data over here then then add some blocks so that I can able to see the data okay let's try and just add on a C sharp first blog my it's a C sharp and then it is a C sharp is a C sharp is so is a good language or popular language actually popular language and then author is who's the author is a kkp and just image like for dummy example you know the kkp dot png or also c sharp c sharp dot png like that okay and then just execute and see the output see output is there like generate ID is 3 and the name is this and this this 2000 201 is a uh, you know the response output we have get it okay and let me check like whatever we have you know inserted you know add a new blog so that is that is there or not okay let execute see I added one block so I can get one so let me try one more like change it to C sharp to like you know angular and then angular is also like angular is a good angular is a client site app or popular client side app also and like kkp is this or uh, this should be change of angular okay angular okay let's execute see it is 201 and generated ID is 4 and it is angular and this this and so let me check for the get all the blocks endpoint call the get all the endpoints and see this is a 3 and 4 is there okay and there are other endpoints as well we have you know created over here like you know card application like we can get Y ID based on the ID also right okay so let me try that ID like suppose for example one okay the block one I want to want see there's a 401 that means I don't have any idea of one so okay so let me try three because we have exist three so see three is there if I change to three to four so definitely you will get that four okay and then similar to we want to update some ID in some data okay in this block so how we can achieve very simple like same things if I want to update like three so just put a three and then change it to three and then I want to three was you know C sharp so I want to change C sharp to like you know clean architecture okay so like this is a blog of clean architecture so clean architecture and this is a nice blog like for example it is little bit and it is also KKP and then it is a clean architects.png okay and then let me execute see 204 that means it's success and let me verify it like whatever things we have update it is update or not let me get it all the blog see 
I change it. It was previously was C sharp, so I change it to you know clean architecture and those all the property also updated and there's another endpoint is for the delete okay so i want to delete like id3 just execute it like 3 is deleted let me check one more time for all the get blocks see 3 is gone only remaining is 4 and that is for the demo over here okay and in this session actually uh, actually in this series uh, we'll create you know many too many things like you know how we can create a architecture how we'll create you know uh, how we'll create architecture and how we'll uh, set up that architecture and how how what are the prerequisition over there what is the you know uh, packages required so those will like include and as well as you know one by one every you know uh, layer like this is a you know if if i talk about clean architecture so already it is enough four layer like you know infrastructure layer domain layer application layer and then ui layer so every layer will implement one by one in next upcoming city upcoming you know upcoming uh series okay so this is overview and we'll talk about also you know uh, something like what is clean action i'll give i also brief introductions on this clean architecture and everything in our basic one if you go to my channel so definitely you will get those one but yeah i'll again i create another one this is advanced level so definitely i'll explain a little little bit for this you know like clean what is the clean architecture you know again so clean architecture is an arc you know uh, architecture approach an architecture approach that emphasis separation of the concern and dependency inversion it's consisting of the separate layers and with the clear uh, clear responsibility you know for example see over here like if we talk about that presentation layer so this is see this is presentation layer and this presentation layer actually handle user interactions ui components api controllers okay and then we if i talk about application layer so application layer contain actually application layer uh, contain application specific business logic so all the business logic will include over here okay don't worry about that i include also a sqrs pattern over here so we'll we'll explain detail as well so move it to next what is that domain layer contain actually the domain layer uh, represent the core business domain models and rules okay so all the you know, domains and models you know over here in this the domain layer okay and then finally we have you know uh, that infrastructure layer and the infrastructure layer provide implementation of the external concern like database apis and external services those are things we have installed so these are a uh, clean architecture okay about little bit i will give you sir so now i'll i will give the some overview about the sqrs pattern okay so like see this is a sqrs pattern we'll use you know command query extra okay so uh, sqrs sqrs what is the sqrs pattern so sqrs pattern is the read and write operation in an application optimize ease of every the every each for their specific needs it's introduced to dif distinct distinct pattern actually like one of the command okay and the second one is a query so in this command uh, command represent the operation that change the state of the system for example create delete update okay such kind of things like see if i more expand so you will able to see so don't worry about that i will create from scratch in my next upcoming video okay and if i talk about that queries okay now next one is a query so query represent operation that retrieve the data from system without any modification so like that like i'll get the data you know like get blocks and get block by id you know without modifying the data okay and also in this layer actually we'll we'll put some you know common things like you know like validations and also we'll handle the mapping things so don't worry i'll go with the details in the later 
okay now in this architecture actually we'll use like okay we we use secures pattern and also we we have used in the mediator pattern so what is that actually so let me open that like open the user interface like api layer and if you go to block control you know block controller so you will see that you know mediator pattern so what is mediator pattern actually okay let me zoom it i think you are not able to let me zoom it yes okay so see like mediator pattern call directly in an application layer and now get the data okay and same behavior for you know i insert update delete everything you know so what is that mediator pattern so mediator the mediator pattern is the facilities communication between different between different components of an application without them having direct dependency on the each other it's promote loosely coupling by introduce a mediator component responsible for coordinate the interaction okay so these all are over the view overview of that you know clean architecture secure pattern and uh, what's called what's a uh, and yeah uh, mediator pattern and also you know i will use imap and etc etc so in the next video we'll create you know all the project setup how we can set up a project okay infrastructure setup will create it in next upcoming video and then one by one we'll implement you know uh, that uh, every layer okay so so till now thank you so much and keep watching and don't forget to subscribe